All right, folks, today I'm down here in Laporte, Texas, uh, the new home of Mr. John Tucker. If you guys will recall, a few years ago, John uh, stole a beer removal job out from under me, and, you know, we got over it. <laughs> anyway, now I'm uh, down here in his neck of the woods taking one. I don't think he cares. I think he's moved on, but hey. Anyway, hey, John, hope you see this. Hope you're not mad at me. I don't think you will be. Uh, but we're going to go on record and say this might be the coldest beer removal ever. It's about 40 degrees today, misty, overcast, and a bit breezy. Uh, normally I would never mess with a beehive when it's cold, uh, but I don't have much other choice. This lady really needs them out. I've already put her off about two months. This was the first, first availability I've had since all the holidays, since before Thanksgiving. So uh, we're going to get after it and try to be as careful as we can. Got a few tricks that I'm going to try out here. Hopefully this works. What I've done is taken a heat pad like you'd use, you know, if you got a sore back. And uh, I've got it plugged in here trying to get it warmed up. Put it in a trash bag to protect it from dripping honey and stuff. Just slid that in on the bottom board, and I'm going to have that in the box. So as I bring the bees down out of the uh, soffits up here and try to cut the combs and set them in the hive here, we'll have a warm place to put them. So that's, that's the hope, anyways, that they won't be too freezing cold because I've got a, a warm spot for them to sit. So we'll see how that works. Um, but for right now, we're going to go ahead and get it opened up and see just how big the colony is. Well, that didn't take long, folks. Here they are right here. I didn't even have to take down that whole piece of uh, hardy board. It just crumbled when I tried to pry, which is no surprise. Um, but just right here, they've only been here, you know, not even a year. Um, really based on the colors of the combs, I'd say maybe eight months. She said she thought they moved in uh, summer 14. I think that's right. Um, they're not being too bad, which it is pretty cold, but they did fly out and kind of bounce off my hands. I don't think they're real happy to see me, but, uh, interesting, <laughs> very interesting comb design they have. Um, uh, but we'll try to do the best we can to work around it and, uh, try to get them out of here as quick as we can. There she is, folks. I don't know how well y'all can see her, but there she is. She's cold, so we'll take a quick look at her and get her boxed up. And you can see where we're at up here. We've got all with that last little comb out. That one. And uh, we're just trying to move bees yeah. down to the box. Now, I haven't cut combs and put them in frames yet because they're so brittle. I'm really having to be careful. So just trying to get everything out of this hole and move down, and then we'll start working on other things. Okay, so we got them all out, and uh, it's still very, very cold. Uh, the queen, when I was looking at her a second ago with y'all, uh, she started curling up real quick like she was too cold so I cut the video and we, we threw her down in the box and the bees kind of piled up on her so hopefully she's okay. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is it's, I'm not going to mess with them anymore out here. I put all the combs down in the box just in pieces and I'm going to take them home and set them up in my greenhouse actually where it's warmer and then do the comb manipulation that I need to to strap them to the frame. So we're done for now. I've instructed the homeowners on how to you know prop it up or how to patch it up proper. So we're done. I'm going to head home. So I've got the bees set up in here in the warm room and uh, it's about 65 degrees. This is my room that doubles as um, my fish room, but we're going to use it today for a little bee work emergency room if you will. So got the colony set up, got the heat pad still in there, I uh, plugged it back in so it's warmed up. I you know, stuck my hand in there made sure it was warming up. So that's helping give them some heat and of course it's like I said it's about 60 degrees in here in the room so you can work a colony on a 60 degree day not the best but you know I was trying to work with these bees on 40 degree day outside so got them in here so it's warmer I want to got the heat pad plugged in. I'm gonna let them get warmed up for a while uh, and then we're gonna open up the box and right now I just put all the combs in there loose that I did from the cutout so we'll get in there cut them out pretty small colony and a lot of the combs got damaged because of being so brittle with it cold so I'm gonna move them into this five frame medium setup but like I said for now I'm just gonna let them warm up I'm gonna go in the house get some lunch run some errands whatnot and then we'll be back out here and I'll try to show you some of the surgery. Well, there we go, folks. There's our queen. She's alive and well. Let's see if you can see her in there. Give me just a minute. She's crawling around real good. So she got her energy. There she is, right in front of me. She's not huge. She's right there at the top, underneath all those bees. <laughs> anyway, um, let me try to get these bees off of her. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna try to get her out of there and mark her. This is kind of nice, I gotta say. Working in here in the greenhouse, it sure beats where we were this morning with it being out in the open and cold. That was just miserable. Um, anyway, I won't make y'all stare at all this. I'm gonna smoke the bees off the cage, get the queen out of there, I'm gonna mark her, and then you can see this is what I was telling you with the combs being all um, 
just piled up. I just stuffed them in the box as fast as I could and wanted to get everything in there and get the bees back in there and get them warm back up. So a bunch of bees are hanging off the bottom of the inner cover lid, so I set it over here on top of the nuke. Once I get the queen moved into the box there, then I'll start uh, cutting combs, putting them in frames, start moving all this stuff over. Now the bees weren't on this brood, but I'm hoping it's not entirely ruined. I mean, if it is, it is, whatever. But I'll go through these combs, try to move as much brood comb as I can, try to make some, try to make some good what honey I got over here. Um, but get them all moved over to this box, and then I'll show you how it looks when it's all said and done. Okay, so we got the difficult part done. Five frames in here, mostly full. Uh, one frame that had just a little bit of cat brood on it. Uh, the brood was still hatching, so at least the brood that was developed that was trying to hatch out was not dead. When I opened up this box, the bees weren't really covering up that brood comb. They were all clustered up here in the corner and on the bottom of the inner cover. Um, but I went ahead and moved that piece of brood comb, and then they had a piece that had some eggs in it, and a bigger piece that would have been brood comb, but it was all empty. So I moved those three, put them in the center, and then I got two frames that's mostly honey on the outside. Got quite a bit of their honey, extra honey left over here. Uh, it's stuff that wouldn't fit well into a comb. I mean, at all, you can see a lot of these are little, little chunks. Uh, so I couldn't fit them into a frame good. I'm not sure if they'll forge on it or rob it. I kind of hope they will. Um, so what I'm going to do for now, you can see what you could see. They were running in. There they go. So I'm running in the slot there. I went ahead and released the queen and marked her with a green dot. I maybe should have put her in a release cage, but it's not the time of year that they would ever have in their mind that they're going to abscond or swarm or go anywhere else, I don't think. And they should be pretty happy with this home. A um, bunch of them still clustered up here on the front of the box just because they'll figure it out. They'll start running in. Then I've got some flying around up here in the skylight, which makes sense because they always go to the windows, they always go to the lights. But for the most part, you know, things are wrapped up. Personally, I think this worked really great to have them, <laughs> have them in here and have them in a warm space to work with them. Certainly, I couldn't have, I couldn't have done the necessary work of uh, cutting combs like I did. Smash a small hive beetle. Couldn't have done that necessary work of cutting combs and shaping things outside at 40 degrees. I would have certainly killed them all. Um, but I was really happy to see that the queen was still okay. To see that she was up and about moving around, because like I said, when I took that little shot of her earlier for you guys, no sooner than I cut the camera off. I looked at her and she was already starting to curl up like she wanted to die. So real quick I threw her in, let the bees cover her and seemed to do okay because of it. So anyway, I'm gonna put a little bit of smoke on this little cluster here, just get them running in, just to kinda just try to concentrate all the bees into the box as much as I can. And uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna leave this setup in here for the next couple of days. And uh, hopefully it'll be warm enough in here that they'll actually rob back all this honey. I don't know if they will or not. We'll just kinda check it day by day and see what they do. But for now. I'm going to call this one done, and uh, I'm going to optimistically call it a success, but we'll just have to see what happens.